welcome back to the course. Now we're going to review with more important topic, which will be about data binding. What we're going to see is what is data flow direction. Uh, we're going to review some basic concepts of binding, how also we can create it and what is binding source. Then we're going to check out how we can use expressions for binding and using converters for bindings as well. The last thing will be how we can stop binding. So, what is data flow direction? Well, it is one way and it ensures that the target property updates. UI modifications will also not update the code. The other direction is two-way, which ensures reflection of changes in both directions. And let's see two-way binding in code. So, we have to use data slash observable module and this is used for the source site. First, we're importing it inside and store it inside variable observable module. Then I'm saying that var source is equal to new observable module dot observable. Then I can say, for example, source dot text source is equal to text set via two way binding. We have binding in XML and this is achieved by double uh, curly braces. So what I have in this code, I have a page and inside it, I have my layout, which in our case is tab. Inside this, I have a text field and then I want to make binding on the text property. Then I say that text is equal to two times opening curly braces and two times closing. And inside it, I have text source. What is text source? Well, text source is uh, the name of variable that I'm going to access and it it's used to achieve this binding. We can have also binding to a property and observable class can be bound by setting to its binding context property, to the page, to the layout as well, for example, stack layout. So I have a function page loaded, which is receiving some arguments. And then I'm saying var page equals arguments dot object. And here now um, I'm bounding the source to its binding context property. We have binding to an event in XML. So again, I have the page with stack layout and then I have the button element. Each text is text button for binding. Then I can say on tab, I want you to execute this. What does this mean? First tab is my event. So when this happened, when tab happened, I would like to execute on tab. And this is binding again, we use double curly braces to achieve calling on tab. We can also bind two plain objects. So what I have here are two labels and I'm just saying that the text of this label will be equal to text, whatever the backend set, whatever it's bind to. Or I can have label text, which is binded to message, which is another variable. Raising objects can also be bound. So even you can have complex obje objects like person with his first name, last name and age with his address, which could be another complex object with uh, city, let's say country, postcode, etc. What I have here is an example with list view. So I have my page and stack layout. Inside it, I have list view. And I'm saying that items are binded to items collection, which in C-sharp could be some, um, it will be some observable, for example. I'm setting the height. And then I want to set template for each element inside this list view, how it will look like. So I'm saying I'm opening an element list view dot item template. Inside them, that I'm saying that for all of them, I'm going to display a label. And this label will have text to curly braces, dollar sign value. When you say dollar sign value, it means the property of each element, uh, of each item inside items collection. Using expressions for binding, well, some JavaScript expressions are supported inside uh, curly braces, like property access, uh, array access, operators, unary, binary, logical, comparison, and ternary. We can also do function calls or filters as well. The last thing is how we can stop binding. Well, the need to stop binding is basically rare, but it may be needed. In that case, we have only to say target text field, whatever it is, dot unbind from text. And that's all. Thank you very much for watching this lecture 
and good luck into the next lectures and happy coding as well. Cheers!